Good morning, everybody. Today I am awake, not quite up and at them, but I'm at least up and in the living room and I'm gonna exercise. So this morning I'm gonna do a couple of blog videos, probably three, one for arms, one for abs, and one for legs. I haven't done that in a while because I've been leaning lately more towards like um, more videos with a little bit more intensity, like something from Fitness Blender, if you've ever checked out that YouTube channel. Kind of like, an, like a total body overall. A more high intensity cardio type thing. Um, I can't do that this morning because I woke up yesterday morning and just must have moved funny and like tweaked the left side of my neck. So now the whole left side of my neck since yesterday has been so painful and I can't look every direction. Like I can look to the right, but I can't hardly look left or up or down. So I'm gonna carefully do some exercises this morning that are just a little bit like lower intensity and a little bit calmer. So that's why I'm choosing Blogilates. And my little kitten helper is here. And yes, you want breakfast. I'm hungry, I've been, I've hardly been awake and I'm already hungry. So I wanna get this exercise over with so that I can eat something and I can feed you so we can both eat something. So let's get working. <laughs> working out and I just made a quick lunch for my husband. The poor guy does not get gourmet food. Um, he gets very simple lunches. So I made him peanut butter and jelly sandwich and fruit. He's got a uh, clementine and pear and kiwi. And then his breakfast is always a five or one granola bar because he's not really a breakfast guy. Like he doesn't typically eat breakfast, but at some point maybe on his way to work or when he gets to work, he'll eat a granola bar. And then his snack today are these little Oreo thins. Sometimes I give them chips and sometimes I give them something more desserty. And so today I picked those. So that's what he gets. Okay, what's happening with my hair? Not much. All right, so I am clean, out of the shower. I hope I'm holding this. I don't know how I'm holding this. Okay, I um, just wanna show you the face products that I have been using for the last couple of months. So these are by Rodan and Fields. You might have seen people online selling them. Um, maybe somebody you know. And so I get these from somebody I know. There's also a face wash and a um, sunscreen, which um, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of mixed on the sunscreen, but um, so I just, yeah, anyway, I didn't pull out the, the wash, but there's a wash and then you use the toner and then you use this um, dual intensive acne treatment, or at least I do. So this is one of their lines. It's unblemished just because my acne is still crazy. And uh, I've been trying this for a couple months. So, so far I feel like it helps my face. Um, I also use it on my chest, even though my chest does, luckily knock on wood, doesn't break out real bad or anything, just like an occasional little spot here or there, but really my chest is mostly just fine. Um, but I use this on my back too because my back still breaks out. I couldn't tell you why, but it does. I, you know what? I probably can do it. It's hormones. Um, so it's been helping my face, I feel like, but my the pimples on my back are basically laughing at this. And like, it's this does nothing for, for that. So I don't know what to do, but I'm gonna stick with it. It's super duper, duper expensive, this stuff. But I'm gonna keep sticking with it just in case it like needs a couple of months to kick in. Okay, I've got my husband's coffee ready. Um, and he just gets like regular coffee with chocolate coffee creamer. So that's in his to-go mug. That is all set for him. And then here's my cold coffee drink. 
that I am going to mix up in my um, little blender over there. So this has coffee and uh, macadamia milk. I'm wondering if I need more coffee. It doesn't look like a whole lot. Um, mac unsweetened macadamia milk. And then I put in a tablespoon of this chocolate bone broth protein powder. And I can use anywhere from a tablespoon to like a whole big scooper that comes with this. But I just used a tablespoon today because I wanted to use another tablespoon of this newish stuff that I've got. Cho I mean, it's chocolate flavored, but it's protein and kale. I don't know. I, I've tried it once or twice before. Um, I don't love it. It tastes very healthy. So hopefully a tablespoon is not going to make this taste gross or I'm going to have to add more stuff to it. And it's got a little bit of ice. And so I'm going to mix this up and just make... Um, like an icy cold coffee drink for me. Okay, let's taste it. I mean, it looks promising, but let's see how it tastes. Oh, I can taste that green protein powder in there for sure. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more coffee, and I think I'm going to add a little bit more macadamia milk just to like give myself more to drink. And I'm going to put a little bit of this chocolate creamer in. It needs it. Did we get a delivery? Oh, I guess the cat doesn't want to see his food. There we go. We did get a delivery. Let's see. We got canned cat food. I love ordering this canned cat food online because they send it so quickly. So I don't have to even run out and get it. They just, like, I can just order it and they send it within, like, two or three days. So... This is the cat food that my cats eat. The Purina Pro Plan Veterinary Diets for Urinary Health because our boy cat had some kidney issues and they wanted him on prescription food. And if there's just like no way that I can stop one cat from like eating the other's food, you know, so we just put them both on this food and it seems fine for both of them. Tell me all about it. Is your food about as expensive as people food? Yes, it is. But you are very cute and worth it, and we want you to be healthy. I'm about ready to go run some errands, so I have to make a deposit, and I've got to return this little blush to Alta because I bought it and I'm uh, it's still sealed. I've never used it, and I'm not going to. I kind of changed my mind, so I'm going to return that. And then I have some things I need at Target. So I have my target list ready and the check that I'm depositing is from Rakuten, I think that's how you pronounce it, but this used to be Ebates. So when you do your shopping online, you like go through Ebates or Rakuten now and then you can get cash back. So my cash back for the last few months is $21.69. If you don't use Rakuten, but you do a lot of online shopping, I highly recommend you use it because they literally just send you a check like there's no catch other than, okay, like you have to agree to whatever um, online to let them, I'm sure, see certain information online. But then they send you a check every couple months that you deposit at the bank. Like it's super easy and I think worth it. So my um, return is done at Ulta. I returned that blush. And lesson learned about drinking coffee before I eat anything. I've suspected and kind of felt like for a while it wasn't a great idea for me to drink coffee on an empty stomach. Um, and I think that's just like, hold on, my camera's all shaky. I think that's just like the final verdict. I just can't drink coffee before I eat anything because it makes me so jittery and like upset. I don't know, I don't like the feeling. So if I'm gonna have my coffee or my little pro coffee protein drink, I need to eat a little something first at the very least, so. I'm just like now starting to feel better, thank goodness. Um, otherwise, in Ulta, like I said, I, I returned the blush no problem, and I tried on a perfume. I'll try and see if I can put like find a picture online and put it up here. So it was a new one I had seen in the Ulta like catalog, and it looks like a pink juice box with a straw. And they have other juice box looking perfumes in different colors. So I tried the pink one, of course, since it's my favorite color, and. I like the smell, but I don't like it. Like, I don't love it, and I don't like it enough to buy it. So I'm glad I tried it on, but I'm going to pass on putting that on, like, my Christmas list 
or anything. Now I'm at Target, so we're gonna head in and I'm gonna try not to get too distracted and find a million things that I don't need. Maybe just stick to my list, hopefully, we'll see. For the record, I totally need this Ollivander's Wand Shop Harry Potter playset. I love that, 20 bucks. I'm home now and I'm gonna show you really quick what is probably the world's like most boring basic Target haul ever. So I got Kleenex, toilet paper. Um, I needed a big thing of distilled white vinegar and coffee. I got whatever was on sale. It was $5.58 and I like to look for coffee that's like, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. Like either fair trade or um, this one says like they give back to the coffee farmers. So something like that where business wise they do something like to give back or like have fair practices if possible. That's the kind of coffee I like to buy. Anyway, um, I got toilet bowl cleaner, super exciting. Aluminum foil, more granola bars for my husband. These Milano pumpkin spice cookies, which I'm gonna save for a future um, fall treats taste test video. And then here's my big, my big random splurge. This long sleeve shirt, nothing fancy or special. This was in the men's section, but um, I wanted to try it for me because it looked nice and loose and it was on sale for $7.48. So, well, it's not gonna be that loose because it's a small and then it's gonna shrink, but I like my shirts to be a little bit on the long baggy side if possible. I'm gonna be using my white vinegar. Uh, I've got, that's the new gallon I just bought and then here's my old one, doesn't have um, a whole lot in there. So I'm gonna be using that to descale this Keurig. So just how it's worked out, I know it sounds strange, but we actually have two hand-me-down Keurigs, um, yeah. I know that's weird, that's just kind of how it worked out. So, um, this one is uh, one we got, we acquired more recently, and it's in, like slightly nicer than the first one we have, and I put that one in the basement um, because that one's top is like off, and so every time you just, like you can't just open and close it normally, you have to like adjust this piece all the time, so I figured that one, since it's a little less nice, it can go in the basement, as a backup or until somebody needs it, I'm happy to pass it on to somebody and give it to them. Um, but, so yeah, this one's a little bit nicer, so it's gonna stay up in the cabinets here in our kitchen. So what I wanna do, because I don't, I, I can't tell you like the last time this has been used, I don't really know, so I'm going to descale it. And they say you can do that with vinegar. I did this for our uh, old Keurig once or twice. So I'm gonna fill the reservoir, I think half with vinegar, half with water. And then you run that through and then you like you rinse it with just water or something. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna get working on that because that's just gonna take a little bit of time. I've got the cat food put away. I'm just putting it away now. So I didn't do that before I left. But so 24 cans is what comes like per case and it fits perfectly pretty much with you know the exception of whatever I've got left over. Um, 24 cans fits just like this in this little white basket. So that's how I like to store it and I keep it in the pantry. And this thing is making me crazy because something, I think something's wrong. It's not working right. Like I select the size and then it sounds for a long time like it's trying but it can't get anything out. And that's supposed to be a large. Something's like really wrong. I don't know what to do. Like this thing isn't, it's an old model but like I know when it was purchased, it's not that old. So I don't know why it's having trouble. Man. Were you napping? I'm sorry if I disturbed you, you're just so cute. You're just so cute and whiskery. I had to check on you. I think you've got a, a fuzzy on your whisker. Yeah, I think you do. You don't like being on camera, I know, but you got a little, you got a little fuzz, a little fuzz or something. It's all right. You're a cute bear. You sure are. Yeah, you've got <laughs> some fuzzies. You must have been exploring in the basement. That's what I think. I hear you meowing at me. Okay, why is it so dark behind me? Like, isn't that crazy dark? Okay, excuse my messy kitchen, please. So, um, I want, well, actually two things. I'm gonna go over by the light because I wanna show you this lipstick that I have. Okay, maybe this light's better. But 
I don't think that this lip gloss, it's called Tartist. Okay, it's by Tart. I don't know how to say that right though. Tartist. Anyway, uh, lip paint. <sighs> I don't like it. It's called Birthday Suit. It's a like a tan nude, and I don't wear a lot of tanny, nudey um, lip colors. I us usually just do like either no color, like a balm or um, something pink, uh, and on a rare occasion, red. And I don't think I like this. I had it on early when I went out. I just, it's not my favorite, and I think it's a little bit dry anyway. I've probably had it forever. So I hate to say it, but I think I'm gonna toss it. Um, and now we're gonna work on a messy kitchen drawer. I have a pile of receipts because they all need to be put away. I have one of these accordion file, well, receipt files, whatever you wanna call it, that I use for a calendar year. And, um, you know, I just reuse this same one every single year. And I keep all of my receipts in here. Um, just, and it's nothing obviously fancy. If it just, if I got a receipt during that month, I just shove it in that pocket. Except for August. This is all I have for August because I have been terrible. I have been so irresponsible. I just took this drawer that I, it's where I keep our receipt file folder and I also keep any catalogs, magazines, coupons, that kind of thing that I want to hang on to for a while. I put them all in here. Um, this is like just, it's just awful. I mean, it's just, I have stuff, stuff, and stuff. So I'm going to work now finally on cleaning this out, hopefully making some progress and getting rid of junk that is like so old, it has no business being in here. It's done. It looks so much better. So I finally have room to put my receipt file in here again and close the drawer all the way. So I got so many receipts. I was just so terrible. It was like months worth of just miscellaneous receipts floating around the drawer. So they're all in here. I also keep a notebook in here. Um, this is where I keep all of my coupons and gift cards. And I never check this, of course, so that's how they all expire before I use them, the coupons anyway. Um, I have an extra pad of paper and then just a couple of like flyers and things that I wanna hang on to for now. Um, the Hallmark ornament book for this year, that kind of thing. I wanna keep my, you know, keep some tabs on shows for Broadway in Chicago. Um, I hope these are up to date even. Anyway, um, okay, so yeah, it's just much better than it was and you know this doesn't have to be like perfectly organized i just want to fit these basic things in there i have some things that i took out that i'm going to save in our filing cabinet that didn't belong in that drawer at all and then i also have this whole stack of stuff that is going right into the recycling bin we're operating on the keurig well i am so i found a video online where a guy said to check your needle which is under there. Um, it looks fine. I see a pokey thing. I assume it's fine. And then he took the this top part off and kind of looked around in there. And I don't see anything clogging this little tube. And it looks like, I mean, this is still warm from a little while ago. It looks like water sort of made it into some of these tubes. And so the problem that this gentleman who made the video I watched had was like right here. This wasn't I don't remember what he called it, a check valve or something. He said this wasn't working. So, let's see, I'm gonna plug it back in. He said he plugged it in, he turned it on. Oh, am I supposed to add water now? I'm so confused. Okay, I feel like this is dangerous. Okay, mo water's moving in there. That's something. Is it going down here? Uh, no. Okay, I don't think it's taking water in like it's even supposed to, truth be told. Because the water isn't leaving, is it? No, the water's not moving out of here at all. <sighs> I don't know what to do. Yes, my little baby bear. Look, it's one of your favorite things in the whole world, your brush. Yes, would you like a brushing? Yeah? You need a minute to 
get reminded what it is and that mommy's not torturing you. She's just brushing you, which you enjoy. It's one of his favorite things in the whole entire world is to have his cheeks brushed. And I do mean his face cheeks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look out, you little nugget. So in between cheek brushings, I've got to wrangle him enough to at least be able to brush some of his body. But he does not want me to brush his body. He only wants me to brush his face. Which is not, yes, it is not easy when we've got a meatball of your size trying to trying to get his way and I'm trying to get my way. I totally forgot that I have to water the plants. Okay, let's go do that right now. So I have to water these hostas and our three shrubs over here. So these, you know, I just kind of do by hand and hold the hose and the sprayer, but these I leave the hose because they need a longer time. Okay, so the hose is on for the first one of these bushes, so I'm going to leave it for about 20 minutes. Um, it's on very low, so that's kind of what they advised me to do at the nursery where I bought them. So I'm going to let that go. I'm going to go in in a minute and set a timer on my phone, and then I switch, give that one 20 minutes, and then I switch it to that one, give that one 20 minutes. So it's time consuming just using the one hose, but what are you going to do? And then I have to figure out something for these hostas because these are new. We haven't had these but a couple of weeks. Um, we planted them like really recently. And look what the bugs are doing. They're eating the hostas. <laughs> and it's making me upset because we just got them and I don't want them to be all munched up by bugs. So I'm going to have to figure out a, some kind of safe-ish bug repellent. I don't know. I'm vlogging from the backyard now. So this is a big deal because... It is just this summer that we have gotten, um, I don't really know if we should call this a pergola. I think it's like a canopy. Like I'll show you like this little cloth thingy um, that we can sit under. So we got that and we got a table and chairs. It's a very big deal for us because we have lived in our house for three years and have never had backyard furniture, patio furniture of any kind. We've never spent any real time out here before. So this is like, I don't know, I think it's special and fun that now we have the chance to sit out here and enjoy some shaded sunshine and the fresh air while the weather's still nice. Um, if you're from the Midwest, if you're from around Chicago, you know that we have very few, it really, it's like we have very few months of beautiful weather. So I'm so happy that now we get to enjoy it a little bit, you know, out just to be outside and enjoy it at our own house. So. I have brought out my iPad because the book I rented from the library, I rented on the iPad. I figured out how to do this. I'm so proud of myself. So I got my iPad, got my water bottle, got my phone, and I'm going to sit here for a little while and just enjoy the fresh air and relax. And also, so this is the uh, app that I figured out how to download and use for library books. So it's called Overdrive. And then you can rent your library book for a certain number of days. I think I rented this one for 21. And then um, I'm reading A Dangerous Collaboration by Deanna Rayburn. I definitely am not gonna need 13 more days. Oops. Oh no, I hit something. Oh poo. I think my, I go back to my bookshelf. Okay, there, yeah, okay. So I'm gonna sit out here and uh, read my book. And oh yeah, so just here's our table and our chairs. I've got this really ugly cover from Amazon. The table's quite nice looking, but um, I wanted some kind of protection for it. So I got this tablecloth that's plasticky. Oh, that's our, stop, that's our um, timer for our plants. Okay, anywho, and then here's our canopy pergola thing, whatever you want to call it. It rained, so water's dripping, and so I'm trying to avoid the drippy spots. But it's just nice. Now I can sit out here and not have the sun blaring on me and just enjoy myself. <laughs> There's a baby kitten. Look at her. Look at our little baby. She's very happy because she gets to lay on her daddy. And this is an unusual treat because what has lured my loving husband away from his computer, which is his usual 
headquarters is the Nintendo Switch. So he's out in the living room with us girls, and we're very happy about it. And can you tell us what game you're playing, sir? Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem. It looks like a game, all right. <laughs> Here's a scoop for Princess first. Watch your little nose. It just got it on your nose. Sorry to me. Ah, 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 ah. Merlin, back up. You go second. You know that. Two happy babies. Calm down. One one hunk at a time, my love. At least chew it. Well, it's about 10 o'clock, and I've been playing games on the iPad and reading and on YouTube and just hanging out with my husband for a while. Um, and I really need to like get some grooming type stuff done. So I finally worked my way upstairs and um, one of the things that I wanted to do this evening was, okay, maybe it's TMI and nobody talks about it, but I'm gonna talk about it. Um, get rid of my mustache, which I don't have to luckily not go and do very often. Um, but I just feel like it's a little, there's a little something there. And normally if it was like growing back a little, honestly, I wouldn't care because I, I can't tell and I don't think it's like a super big deal. But this, later this week I'm going potentially for lip injections, um, uh, just for my top lip. I'm going to see what the doctor says. And if he does the injections that day, I don't like I want to take some video and pictures of it and stuff and obviously he's going to be like right up close to that area and I just am like paranoid that I'm going to have a fuzzy top lip and like take video and try and like share how the experience goes if possible um and I think that'd be like super embarrassing like if I didn't take care of my mustache so say after saying all of that um See that hole in the box? That's where the actual hair remover cream is supposed to be. This is just like a protector. Like you rub the stick of whatever lotiony stuff on first to like protect your skin, I guess. And then you put on the hair remover. The hair remover cream is gone. I feel like I've lost my marbles. Like where did that go? How did I lose that? <laughs> I am going to have to just go with a potential um, little mustache to get my potential lip injections. Also, okay, I know I'm spending a lot of time like, with my face right in the camera, but um, I also want to mention that not only am I going later this week to talk about lip injections, I'm also going to be asking about my under eye area. If you saw in the past my tear trough injection videos, um, I get tear trough injections I have twice so far and I've been interested in getting them again like whenever I thought they were necessary well um, I'm gonna make a whole I'm going to hope and try to make a whole separate video about this topic anyway so just a little FYI now um, I went to the doctor like two weeks ago and uh, he to ask about tear trough injections like is it the right time to do them again can he do them for me and all that and he said that I still had at that point swelling and it might have been some kind of congestion in my lymph glands under my eyes um, and sometimes fillers can do that to you. So it was either like filler, I don't know if it was just the swelling or if it was actually filler still in there but he thought it was necessary to put in a little more dissolver. And um, so that has gotten rid of some weird looking puffiness under my eyes. I don't know, so I guess I didn't realize that the puffiness looked that bad, but everybody else did. And also I didn't realize that it was like not supposed to be there. I just thought that certain areas, like a little up higher, I know it sounds weird, but like it was like in the middle of my tear trough area. Like it was kind of puffy and I was like, oh, that just must be my natural under eye. And like, it's got a little, look at it, it's got a little fat under there. I just forgot about that and that's like, that's good like I don't need so much filler and then the doctor took one look at it he's like yeah that's not supposed to look that way so he put the dissolver in and um now which I feel better that like it's getting taken care of and 
taken care of the right way and that he wasn't willing to add filler over a potentially um, like bad situation. But like this is the reality of what I look like though. This is, this is really what it looks like and um, I forgot how bad it looked without any filler in there and now I'm like, that's a really long two weeks and I've, I just can't believe it looks so sunken and dark. So yeah, I'm gonna take more footage like this, lucky everybody who watches, um, so I can do another video about the tear trough injections. I think I'm just gonna roll it into one, like a tear trough slash top lip injection video. And we'll just have to see what he can do for me on that day. Um, both areas, one area, what his opinion is and all of that. Last but not least, tonight I am going to polish my nails. So I'm doing both my toenails and my fingernails and I'm going to have them match. And the color I'm using tonight is Essie Mod Square. It's just a nice, um, I don't wanna say bright, but like a nice summery kind of bright pink. And um, here's my tip for doing your nails before I sign off for the night. So have as much done as possible before you do your nails. So before you do your nails, brush your teeth, wash your face, put on your pajamas, get things situated, because the last thing that I wanna do is polish my nails and then have to do a bunch of stuff to jeopardize the safety of my drying nails. So I'm already in my pajamas, I changed earlier. My teeth are brushed, my retainer is in, as nerdy as that is, it's the truth. Um, took out my contacts, that's also like, I just don't understand how anyone does their nails like in the morning or like with any part of the day left where you have to function and do things because wouldn't your nails just chip or you'd bump it or whatever and I can't risk that. So I do my nails, I only ever do my nails before bed and um, today is no exception. So that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to get started. Okay, my nails are all done and I'm going to wrap up this vlog here because it's probably like six hours long. So. Um, anyway, thank you guys very much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye!